Well, good morning everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today you join me from the RAC of uh, Carry Valley Resort. I had to think about that, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Um, yeah, so a lovely little spot down here. I was down here yesterday, um, I'm actually staying at the Caravan Park, uh, just across the road. A uh, lo lovely little spot, that one. And I had some lunch down here, I wanted to treat myself uh, one day, uh, at least on this trip, to treat myself to a nice uh, restaurant uh, feed. Um, food was actually pretty good here, um, yeah. But what I was sitting next to was this wonderful view. I was, it sits on top of the lake, and they've got these nice, um, I think it's the French doors uh, that lead out, or patio doors, these nice big doors, uh, that lead you out over the water. And um, yeah, I really like the view from the window um, of these uh, reflections and the trees on the opposite side of the lake. So that's what we're going to photograph today. Um, yeah, it when it, it was raining yesterday and I really was gutted that I was actually indoors having a drink of beer um, while eating. I don't only get those moments, but I was really gutted that I wasn't out there taking photos because I was wanting to take those photos. You know, it was just looking really majestic the way the, um, just the tones and the tonality of the scene and the contrast and, and the colours and everything and the layers, it just looked superb. Um, and then I, and when I, I was able to get out of the restaurant, when I finished, it all cleared up, and um, so that was a bit of a disappointment. And then it didn't rain for the rest of the day. Um, otherwise, I would have come back down and taken some photos then. But um, yeah, this morning is looking pretty nice. Um, it's pretty clear at the moment. I think there might be a bit of fog that could intervene the scene in a little bit um, as the um, pressures change in the atmosphere. But um, because up there at the moment it's uh, foggy quite quite thick um, so maybe that might drift its way down here um, I'm not too sure um, if not um, it'll still make for some nice little simple photos um, I'm not planning too much I've just got some ideas um, anyway I'll uh, have my cup of tea now because I'm sure it's very strong and I will see you when it starts to become light in about an hour's time while the kookaburras are talking, I uh, thought I'd just do a little recap. So, since I've been gone, um, or since I last tuned into you, um, this whole area has been engulfed with um, the fog. It's inverted, like I said it probably would do. And it just, I can't even see the other side of the lake now. It's in incredible. Um, yeah, it just looks picturesque. I can't see anything. And there's a nice little jetty thing floating in the water. I might get a nice photo of that because I can't see the trees behind it. And um, yeah, I, I've just been driving around the whole area trying to find other compositions, other locations to go to. But it seems to be there's only this small blanket of cloud in this small area. It's uh, probably about a kilometre or two in length. So um, yeah, and it's really thick. Um, I went to go and check out another location, eight k's from here, nothing there. So um, yeah. This is the only area that's got fog, so yeah, this is going to be a cool little video, I think. Um, one location, basically. Um, I'm going to get, get my camera out and get a photo of this little jetty behind me. I'm not sure, no, you can't see. Um, but yeah, it just looks really nice. So I'm going to put my 45mm lens on with the X1D and get a nice little shot of that. Right, so my camera is really struggling in this low light. Um, it's still kind of dark, um, but the sun is slowly rising. Um, but it just looks so awesome. I'm just getting a photo of this nice little uh, like jetty buoy sort of thing uh, floating in the water. Um, it looks so majestic. So I did originally put my 45mm on. It was a bit too wide. Um, but I do like a bit of space around my image. So what I've got on now is my 80mm and just getting some nice little shots. A bit opening it at uh, f2.8, uh, 400 ISO and about 3-4 seconds because it does float. Um, but yeah, we've got some nice ducks in the water as well, um, which is lovely. So yeah, it's nice to get some shots of this. Um, yeah, just nice and simple um, is all that I need really for it. And it's working an absolute treat. I'm so glad I stayed here now, or came back here, really. Uh, yeah, that's getting bright. Let's go to the And the adapter's working at the moment.
character. There we go. So just a nice simple composition. We've got the trees in the background, 200 ISO. Let me show you the end result. It's like that. It's not that blown out on the camera. Um, let me show you the histogram. Hang on. Yeah, histogram is fine. If anything, we could go a little bit brighter. Yeah, that's a nice sharp image. Tap on it. Where is our G? Just there. Nice and detailed. Lovely, lovely little scene. Also with landscape photography, don't be afraid to move around a little bit. Um, I've just come a bit further over to my right and uh, it's opened up the scene a bit nicely. Um, I've got the better nice trees in the background, a, a slightly uh, different angle as well. Um, this fog is moving through quickly, um, but hopefully it will linger around a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to switch over lenses soon and uh, focus on other compositions and not just this jetty. Actually, you know what we will do. We'll open it up. Maybe 1600, 2.8. And that gives us an exposure time of 0.4 seconds. Just wait for that duck to move out of frame. Jeez, it really doesn't linger for long. Really got to rush this. Okay, I think I'm going to get my lens, longer lens out. Maybe my uh, 150 and get a shot over onto the other side of the lake. The light looks nice on the other side of the lake, so Gone in with my 150mm, just going to pick out a part of the scene which I really like. Um, yeah, going to keep my shutter speed low, on my ISO low, aperture wise probably 5.6, and we'll go for about 6.3 seconds. I'll get the focus, I think that's about right. Got some lovely reflections going on with some of the mist going across this the water. Come on. I wish I had my H4 here. It would have worked. No problem at all. Yeah, that's a nice scene. I'll try and go to an area which has still got a little bit left in there. I'm not using any filters at all, it doesn't need it. Anything that will draw away from the scene. Um, yeah, just like the simple tones, simple reflections. Still working. Lovely this morning. Very rushed. Ah, oh, it's so nice. I'm probably going to even get my 300 out and just focus on just little little pockets of the trees and focus on the details there. Um, yeah, I might do that. I'll actually move over there. So, yeah, trying to pick out little scenes as it changes really quickly. So I'm having to constantly look around what's going on. Actually, no, we'll grab the 300 out and... Um, Get some detail shots, then we'll go over that way. I'll prepare.
repaired all my gear this morning. So I will be ready for this. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, now I just need to pick out part of the scene. That's still not working. Turn the camera off and turn it back on again. Right, so tricky. Turn the camera off. I'm gonna have to go two seconds self timer. This is just crazy. Um, still not working. Let's just sorry. I can hear my camera doing something. Oh, this is a really annoying. I know it's not best to use your fingers. Maybe I'll just use my jumper to see if that will... Maybe there's just a bit of moisture on the contacts. No, still not doing it. Oh, this is really annoying. It's a nice big sensor, not being put to use that well. I do have some cleaning stuff in the bag, so if it doesn't work soon, I'm gonna resort to that. Hang on, heard something then. That worked. Oh, so temperamental. Medium format isn't normally this bad. Um, and now we've lost the light. Oh, we lost that haze. Um, there's a little bit over here, so I'm going to try that. Very, very tricky. Let's get this right. I'm going to turn you off for a little bit um, because this is a bit sporadic. Um, yeah, we're losing that fog really quickly. It's just drifting over that way. Um, yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Um, damn, that really didn't last long at all. This is all the fun of uh, landscape photography. You never know what's going to happen. Um, like this morning, I was assuming we'd have... Uh, maybe some low-lying fog, but I didn't suspect it, you know, I, it was an assumption. And then we had it, and, you know, I had other plans, and and uh, this is the one thing with photography, you just can't make plans. Stuff changes just in a click. Um, and as you've just witnessed, you know, it was purely white out. And then, what is it, we've been here, it's ten past six now, the sun is about to rise, we're probably gonna get some light very soon. But yeah, it's just really unpredictable and that's why you shouldn't plan your shots um, or plan or have an idea in mind of what you're going to get because more, of, more often than not, it's not going to work out. You're going to be gutted, you're going to kick yourself over it and you won't be happy with the results you get because they weren't what you envisaged. But yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this, uh, spend a bit more time here, just make another cup of tea uh, before heading back up to the campsite and the shower and everything before I leave. But no one else is out. It's only the cleaners and stuff and the people who work here. But everyone else is in bed. I'm out here enjoying this. If I stayed here at one of the villas, I'd just come out here every day, do something, work out some photos. Anyway, I'm gonna take some more photos see what we get. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're getting a little bit bright as well. Let's just turn the exposure down a little bit. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's been a really interesting shoot. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Um, yeah, and the conditions this morning really changed qu quickly. When I got here, it was like this. Um, and then about 20 minutes later, it was thick fog, which was really nice. We've got some nice photos on that jetty over there. Really looking forward to seeing those later. 
um, on the MacBook Pro, um, and then and then it's just slowly disappeared, and now we've basically got nothing. There's just little bits of little pockets of it uh, around the scene, but mainly over there, and just a little bit behind me over there. Um, but yeah, boy, what a morning! Uh, hopefully, this video comes together nicely. Anyway, I'm Simon, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye for now.